Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today I will be reading to you another SCP entry. This one is SCP-3640. Item number SCP-3640 Object Class Ketter Special Containment Procedures All Foundation personnel are advised to avoid reading brochures for self-guided tours in the state of Florida and to bring any such brochures they find department to be transferred to Mobile Task Force Lambda-12 Pest Control. Lambda-12 has been assigned to investigate potential SCP-3640 Alpha hunting grounds. They are authorized to terminate instances of SCP-3640 Alpha with lethal force. All known SCP-3640 hunting grounds have had their surrounding properties acquired by the Foundation. These properties are to be used as subsidized accommodations for Foundation personnel on mental health leave who have not read any instance of SCP-3640. The legal department of the Walt Disney Company currently under surveillance for any documentation that might indicate awareness of SCP-3640 Alpha. Description Instances of SCP-3640 are tourist brochures advertising self-guided tours of areas associated with urban legends, hauntings, cryptid sightings, and folklore in the U.S. state of Florida. An individual that reads an instance of SCP-3640 and visits the specified starting location at any of the specified times will be subject to predation by an instance of Instances of SCP-3640 Alpha are predatory organisms that superficially resemble uniformed mascots associated with media properties owned by the Walt Disney Company mass media conglomerate, such as Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse, and Goofy. Instances of SCP-3640 Alpha are observed to hunt only at the times and locations specified in SCP-3640. Testing with D-Class personnel has shown that SCP-3640 Alpha instances follow certain rules while selecting prey. SCP-3640 Alpha instances will only approach individuals who have read SCP-3640. If any member of a group has not read the brochure, then SCP-3640 Alpha instances will avoid the group entirely. If all members of a group have read the brochure, then the number of SCP-3640 Alpha instances preying on the group will be equivalent to the number of members. Pursue prey that cross outside of Florida state lines. It is still unclear how instances of SCP-3640 Alpha grow, reproduce, or consume prey. Addendum: Investigation and Recovery Logs. D-Class Reconnaissance Log. Subject.
notes, the purpose of this mission was to incapacitate an instance of SCP-3640. D-15 was primed with an instance of SCP-3640 advertising a tour of the St. John's River. He was equipped with a subdermal GPS tracker in his stomach and limbs, a head-mounted camera and radio, and an electroshock collar, a dart pistol with tranquilizer rounds modified with GPS beacons, three kilometers outside of Orlando at 2,000 hours EST and instructed to follow the tour directions in the brochure. Begin log. D-15, check in. How are you doing? I've been better. Please, follow the tour directions in your brochure. If you spot a Disney costume, shoot it with your tranquilizer gun. Understood. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? D-15 proceeds north along the river, pausing occasionally to read the brochure. So, uh, Command, do you think you could, uh, tell me a little more about what I'm supposed to be tracking? You're not tracking anything. Just keep following the tour. Come on, please. This is a lake monster tour, but... I'm on the lookout for Mickey Mouse. Just tell me why. D-15 turns to look at the river. There is a ripple of water at the surface. He pauses and follows the ripple with the flashlight, revealing a partially submerged alligator. Whoa. D-15, please pay attention to the tour directions. Sorry, sorry. I've just never seen one of these in real life before. D-15 moves closer to the riverbank. Please return to the tour, or we will have to stimulate you. Okay, okay. Jeez. I'm going, I'm going. D-15 moves back and checks the brochure briefly. His gaze remains fixated on the alligator until the flashlight can no longer illuminate it. Oh, uh, command. I've reached the end of the tour. I followed all the directions. It's just... more river. Understood. Turn around and return to the drop-off point for pickup. D-15 remains where he is for several moments, looking at the riverbank. Christ, this is creepy. As D-15 turns around, there is a splashing sound from the river. D-15 looks back at the river. His flashlight illuminates an SCP-3640 Alpha instance, resembling Donald Duck emerging and climbing up the bank. What the hell? D-15 immediately begins shooting the instance and backpedaling. It does not react or make any sound apart from its footsteps as it advances towards D-15. Oh, I'm, I'm out of ammo. Command! Retreat slowly. Try to keep it in your vision. The retrieval team is advancing towards your position. D-15 breaks into a sprint and flees in the direction of the retrieval point. For the next several minutes, all of Command's attempts at communication are ignored. All that can be heard is D-15's breathing and the sound of his own footsteps until he pauses to catch his breath. He turns around. There is no sign. Report. Why did you run away? Because that was effing terrifying. I mean, look, I'm sorry, and please don't zap me, but that was the scariest thing I've ever seen, okay? Fair enough. You're still going to receive a reprimand once you return to base. I'll take it. How far away is the retrieval team? About ten minutes from your location. Just keep going. You'll run into them shortly. Man. 372's never gonna believe this. At that moment, there is a splashing sound from the river. 
D15 turns to see the SCP-3640 Alpha instance rapidly climbing out of the riverbank and running towards him. Jesus. The instance assaults D15 and knocks the camera and radio off of his head. The radio picks up the sound. Reestablish contact. Upon arriving, the retrieval team acquires the camera, but reports no sign of either D-15 or the SCP-3640 Alpha instance. End log. Note, D-15's subdermal transmitters of the transmitters was outside of the Epcot amusement park. Mobile Task Force Lambda 12 was dispatched to investigate. Lambda 12 Investigation Log Subject SCP-3640 Alpha Team MTF Lambda 12 Best Control Begin Log Shortly after dark Lambda-12 arrives at the last known location of D-15's transmitter, a small one-story concrete hut on the outskirts of Epcot. In addition to their standard equipment, L-1 is equipped with a flamethrower, L-2 with a net launcher, L-3 and L-4. the drill. We go in, we bag Donald, we come out. Questions? Remember when we just used to hunt bugs? You told me you'd rather go back to that. I watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse with my niece. Hell yes, I would. Knock it off. Come on. I'll take point. Three, four, guard our flank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a broken padlock on the door to the hut. L1 pushes the door open, revealing a nondescript maintenance shed. The shelves are nearly empty. L1 picks up a roll of duct tape and examines it. Not quite what I was expecting. Uh, sir, there's a hatch. L2 points to a trap door in the middle of the floor. <sighs> God damn it. Why can't we ever go upstairs for once? L1 opens the trap door and peers down. Underneath is a ladder leading into a large, dimly lit tunnel. <sighs> tunnel looks clear. I'll go down first, then you three in order. L1 slides down the ladder quickly, followed by L2, L3, and L4. The tunnel is curved in shape and progresses for an unknown distance north and south of the ladder curving out of sight around a bend in both directions. I don't like this one bit. Too easy for us to get ambushed. Stay sharp, lads. These tunnels run all under Disney World, you know. That's how all the mascots get around. Quiet. Lambda 12 proceeds north. The tunnel appears to have been abandoned for a significant period of time. The team passes by several empty storage and dressing rooms. As the team proceeds through the tunnel, a low rumbling noise becomes audible. The team follows the noise to a closed door and stops outside. Predator formation. I have point. L1 opens the door carefully to an abandoned boiler room. The room is empty, although the boiler is active. At the foot of the boiler is a white mascot costume that is curled up around an unidentified object. While L1 and L3 watch the door, L2 carefully approaches the costume at L1's signal. He examines it and then nudges it with the barrel of his net launcher. There is no response. L2 nudges the costume again. It's not, it's not even, it's not even anomaly. 
voice, I don't think. Something in it. L2 carefully reaches into the costume and extracts a human arm bone. Lord Almighty, you think it's the way things usually go? Yes. What's the poor bastard got behind him? I think these are... Jesus. I think it's an egg. L2 reaches past the costume and picks up a purple, partially translucent plastic egg, similar to a two-piece plastic Easter egg. A small, embryo-like object can be seen wriggling inside the egg. Christ. Careful with those things. The fellows at base will want a closer look. Any more? Worse. Egg shells. L2 passes the egg to L3 and then picks up two plastic egg halves, showing them to the rest of the squad. Ah, oh, hell. Base ain't gonna like this. Three, grab the D-Class, too. Base might want it. Poor sod deserves an honest burial, at least. L3 straps his tranquilizer rifle to his back and picks up the costume in a fireman's carry. A bone falls out of the costume. Good luck sleeping tonight, eh? <laughs> Do you hear that? All members of Lambda 12 freeze. A faintly audible dripping sound can be heard, though it is rapidly decreasing in intensity. Pray formation. I have point. At L1's signal, L3 moves behind him while both L2 and L4 move to surround L3. L1 moves to the door, and then quickly kicks it open, bringing up his flamethrower as he exits into the tunnel. Clear. Careful of the floor. There is a trail of dark fluid leading away from the boiler room, in the direction initially taken by Lambda-12 upon first entering the tunnel system bits of what is later identified as polyester stuffing are floating in the fluid. L1 picks up a long white thread that has been caught on the edge of the boiler room door. I don't like the looks of this. Stay sharp. Watch the ceilings. Lambda 12 retrace their steps to exfiltrate the tunnels. Although they do not encounter anything while exfiltrating, they observe that the trail of liquid exactly matches the route of infiltration. Lambda 12 paws upon reaching the ladder to the surface. Its rungs are coated in the fluid. L1 grabs a hold of the rung, pauses for a moment, then rapidly climbs the ladder and hauls himself up. The hut is empty. Hut's empty. Two, you're up. Three, Pass the goods up to two once he's up, and then follow. Four, you're last. L2 ascends without incident. L3 passes the costume as well as the egg samples up, and he and L4 ascend as well. The group look around at the shed nearby. A trail of liquid and polyester ends at a nearby shelf. L1 crosses over to it and examines a used duct tape roll. This roll. I could have sworn there was some tape left over. There is a pause before the group hastily exits the hut. End log. Note. Lambda 12 returned to base without incident. The bones in the mascot costume were identified as T-15s. The egg collected by Lambda 12 was kept under watch in an incubation chamber with the recovered mascot costume. Although the object inside the egg appeared to develop over time, it ultimately failed to hatch. After several weeks, the egg was opened and found to contain a miniature stuffed Donald Duck toy. Dissection of the toy system composed of white polyester stuffing 
and also contain the cardiovascular system comprised of latex. No digestive, excretory, or reproductive systems were identified. Addendum Connections to Disney and the Florida Government The following letter bearing the Walt Disney logo Persons associated with Reuben Askew, the Orlando Police Department, the Legal Department of the Walt Disney Company, and SCP-2805 have professed ignorance of this document, and SCP-3640. No other documents recovered from Reuben Askew or the Walt Disney Company have indicated knowledge of. Dear Governor Askew, the Walt Disney Company thanks you for your cooperation in this matter regarding the unlicensed Walt Disney character operators. Please pass along the following information collected by the outstanding men and women of the City of Orlando's Police Department to the Florida National Guard. If a character is spotted, Call to get his attention, and then rapidly flash your flashlights at the costume. If it does not flinch, fire on sight. Aim at the head if possible, else aim at the knees to disable them, and then finish them off with headshots. Body shots have been shown to lack effectiveness. Deceased characters are to be incinerated. No other means We are currently pursuing alternative legal means of shutting down these unlicensed operators and hope to achieve a settlement by the end of the year. Cordially yours, the Walt Disney Company. And that is it. I do hope you enjoyed this SCP entry. Thanks for watching.